Have you ever seen footage of a nuclear explosion? It looks something like this. Wow, that's a pretty big explosion. But look closely and you may notice these weird vertical lines nearby the detonation. What are those? Well, it turns out that they're smoke rockets fired up just before the bomb goes off so that scientists could better understand the effects of the shockwave created by nuclear bombs. Back in the 1940s and 50s, when the US was extensively testing nuclear bombs, nuclear scientists were still figuring out the secondary effects of detonations, like the shockwave they create. Not only did they not have enough data about nuclear explosions for computer models, they didn't really have computers to model with, so they had to figure out the effects by direct observation, that is, setting off nukes. As you can see in this footage, the smoke trails left by the rockets sort of ripple and stretch when the shockwave passes through them, making it very clear when the shockwave hits and with what force. This allowed scientists to work out the strength, speed, and even shape of shockwaves from nuclear detonations. Now, if you watch a nuclear explosion in really, really slow motion, you might notice a couple of other things. One, it looks pretty cool. But also, what's with those spike things on the bottom of the fireball? This is called the rope trick effect. It's caused when the various diagnostic and control cables leading to the nuclear bomb at the top of the tower are vaporized moments after the explosion by visible light radiation from the bomb. Yeah, the explosion is more than 100 times brighter than the surface of the sun, and when cables absorb all the energy from this incredibly bright light, they vaporize almost instantly, creating spike-shaped pockets of superheated metal and gas at the bottom of the fireball. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I'm working on a pretty lengthy one that's going to take a while to finish, so I figured I'd put something out in the meantime. Thanks for watching.